Hi, today's video is going to be about skincare and what I do to help prevent acne. I'm just going to like start. Not wearing anything on my face. The only thing I have on is toner and a moisturizer. Now some history on my skin. Now I would say that I had oily combination skin. In middle school and high school, I would have a very oily T-zone. Especially my forehead, like I remember if I just did this and looked at my hand, it's like very greasy. But what happened was, I had gotten acne bumps thingies on my forehead. Eventually that disappeared, and then it just traveled down my face and everywhere. So it was like random spots on the nose, right here, chin, bleh. So what I did to help clear up my skin is... Well, I don't know if it's because I got older, but um, I started using face toners, and I think that's really the key for me. I have no specific soap on what I would use, so I would just like wash my face with the bar soap every morning, and then go in with a toner. Toners that I started off with is very popular in the Philippines. It's called Escanol. These are not the ones that I first started off with. There's another bottle that does like fights pimples and then there's another one that fights blackheads. And then I went on to this one because they had whitening properties and my face was a lot paler than my body. They don't say anything about whitening. So I got these ones. If you don't live in the Philippines, Asia, you could probably find this in the Asian markets or something like that. And an alternative that I got, USA version. This is Witch Hazel. I saw this at Walmart, but the one at Walgreens is a lot bigger. I got this in June, and I still have some more. I've been using this religiously, man. So, mm. the thing I don't like about this one, though, is these ones smell pretty good. When I first put this on, I was like, oh, this thing stinks. But I got used to it. <laughs> You'll get over the smell eventually, probably. Besides the smell, as you can see, I didn't rip the seal off all the way, just a little tiny bit. And if you're traveling, if you have this like, just like this or like this, oh girl, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It is gonna spill everywhere. It's gonna leak. So it's not that travel friendly. And like these ones, this one, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. nothing. How I apply this basically is after I'm done, wash my face with the wet air fur. Put it some on the cut ball and just, you know, all over the face. Put toner on before I put makeup. And at night after I take a shower, I do this and then go to bed. I think that's the main thing that helped me out. Because like you would think that you cleaned your face and then you go in with the toner and you miss so much. The next product is a facial scrub and I went through containers and bottles of this product. I haven't used this in a while honestly because I don't know I just I just bought this but I went through months without this and so I still think this is the key. These little scrubby things inside. You want to exfoliate your, your skin to get the dead skin cells, prevent ingrowns if you shave. What I would do is I would just wash my face regularly and then go in with this and then bam. Massage it into your skin. Don't like press it into your skin. So after you're done cleaning and toning your face, you always want to go in with the moisturizer. What I've been using lately is the e.l.f. Daily Moisturizing Stick. You always want to moisturize your skin whether or not you have oily skin because I remember whenever I would wash my skin my skin would be dry and then throughout the day it would get oily since your skin is dry it's basically saying oh we need more oil and moisture in our skin let's put a lot of, let's put a lot that's why you're extra oily I guess I hope I, I am not a scientist okay sometimes what I would do is take vitamins which include vitamin E biotin try to eat foods vegetables that have those vitamins such as broccoli. I don't remember the list. Such foods include dark green vegetables such as broccoli, kale, probably spinach, and you want to try to eat nuts, almonds, and get some carrots in there. You know, I don't know. <laughs> and also drink plenty, lots and lots and lots of water. Okay, cool. Another product that I do take often is fish oil because when I was 169 pounds, the doctor said um, I got like high cholesterol, blah, blah, blah. So I would take that to help, you know. But I noticed that it has omega-3 in it. So I went through like two bottles of this. Basically omega-3 fatty acids that could also help prevent acne. This brand is from CVS. I have another one. It's from Nature Made. 
Right now I'm taking these ones. I don't really know how different they are, honestly. I just take it. This one didn't have the problem where the pills would stick to each other, but this, this one, uh-huh, you hear that? They're all stuck together. So you gotta like shake. This is how big one pill is. Mm -hmm. Fish oil has a lot of health benefits, so that's cool too. These are the masks that I use. This one is my favorite to use because it's clear and when you put it on your face, you get all shiny skinned. It's just so fun to peel it off. It's like you're a snake and you're shedding. And then I would go in with this. I usually use these two together and then I would just rinse it off. And then I would go in with my toner to get off the excess mask that I missed. This one's just another mask that I happen to own. You could possibly find the big tubes at Walmart, if not CVS, Walgreens. My skin now, it's not so oily anymore. I would feel like it's more a dry combination now instead of oily combination. So that's pretty much all I do. So yeah, follow me on Facebook and <laughs> Instagram. I hope that video kind of helped. If not, I'm so sorry. If you have any questions for me, just leave it down below. Most importantly, don't sleep with your makeup on. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And one last thing, try not to pick on your acne. Um, you want to get spot treatments like I use an e.l.f. zit zapper. Or Clean and Clear has an acne spot treatment, so you could try that too. Or you could also just, just put rubbing alcohol in that one area, something like that. Yeah.